something about you and I don't know why I can't think straight when I look into your eyes You know how to play it right, yeah, you took me by surprise The way you're talking sounds like it's another long night Yeah, your mustache tickles my nutsack, baby You know that's fine with me You said you want to cover my face with love, so maybe Talk about it. You look so sexy when your hands are wrapped around it. Flip me over, be my meat up while you pound it. While you pound it, you got away with your words and a big fat cock. And I don't care if it hurts, no, don't you stop. I know I've been a bad boy tonight, you're top. So let's just do what we do. I love the way that you move. I'll be your king or your queen, whatever you want me to be. It doesn't matter to me. Just keep on fucking me deep. Yeah, baby, let's make a movie. Let's make it juicy. I've been now it's time he spreads my cheeks and he makes me scream He's my number one daddy, gonna make him cream inside of me Just keep riding me When I'm slipping him down, it's my favorite sound He laid out a little more, but a beautiful tone so softly Just keep riding me Something about you and I don't know why I can't think straight when I look into your eyes You know how to play it right, yeah, you took me by surprise The way you're talking sounds like it's another long night Yeah, your mustache tickles my nutsack, baby You know that's fine with me You said you want to cover my face with love, so maybe I'll find out it's he, so throw it back, yeah Just like that, you know just how to do it That ass is fat Talk about it. You look so sexy when your hands are wrapped around it. Flip me over, be my meat up while you pound it. While you pound it, you got away with your words and a big fat cock. And I don't care if it hurts, no, don't you stop. I know I've been a bad boy tonight, you're top. So let's just do what we do. I love the way that you move. I'll be your king or your queen, whatever you want me to be. It doesn't matter to me. Just keep on fucking me deep. Yeah, baby, let's make a movie. Let's make it juicy. And he makes me scream He's my number one daddy Gonna make him cream inside of me Just keep riding me When I'm slipping him down It's my favorite sound He laid out a little more But a beautiful tone so softly Just keep riding me Something about you and I don't know why I can't think straight when I look into your eyes You know how to play it right, yeah, you took me by surprise The way you're talking sounds like it's another long night Yeah, your mustache tickles my nutsack, baby You know that's fine with me You said you want to cover my face
What the fuck? Okay, I fixed I I fixed the audio. I did it. It was so hard to do. Now let me make sure it works on every channel I need it to. Haha, <laughs> Sammy, your your internet is screwing up again. But yeah, welcome. I just uh was like thinking okay, yeah, so the switch is the forever scene. Good. So I have a I have a Pokemon game. That I'm thinking about nuzlocking, and I kind of want to turn Dece I want to turn December into a spooky month, because I forgot October was supposed to be a spooky month. 
<laughs> Hello again. But I didn't do anything special for October. <laughs> I yeah. <laughs> I, I I did something for myself today, but that's beside the point. So I didn't do anything like on the channel for the spooky month. And that upset me because I just kind of forgot about October and all all the things that are fun about it. Besides, of course, within the next, like, five days or so, me going out and honoring my ancestors. But that's that's a whole different thing. That's a private affair that involves vodka, bread, and a lot of chanting around some candles. But, I'm going to have a December be a semi-spooky month because I remembered a really old, edgy ROM hack that I played in middle school. That I think is, unironically, a really good Pokemon ROM hack. I think it's one of the best, actually. And it has zombies in it. And I think everyone here can appreciate zombies. And it has zombie Pokemon, which I think is cool. Now, I haven't played this, like I said, since middle school, and I didn't even beat it because it wasn't finished. But, for the spooky satisfaction, I've thought about playing Pokemon Snakewood. <laughs> but yeah, so... We're going to be playing some Pokemon Snakewood today. It's going to be real fun. Fun for the whole family, if you will. And, yeah. Oh, God. I don't know what Streamlabs did, but it really fucked itself up. A bunch of my like settings were changed. A bunch of different other things were changed. So, fixing this real quick. Good. Alright, I did it. <laughs> but yeah, so... Uh, happy spooky holidays to all. Whether you be celebrating Halloween today, Saman... Uh... Oh, well, I can't, uh, can't think of any other things off the top of my head, to be honest. But I generally just celebrate winter. Fall into winter, the changing of the seasons... And I try to always celebrate the changing of the seasons by doing something. And with the veil thin and the spookiness a, a, a light, we're going to play Pokemon Snakewood. Now, please tell me in chat if your audio is too loud, because I didn't have a lot of time to play with this. Not mean for it to be that loud. Yeah, I'm fixing it, Sammy. I'm sorry. That was an accident. I forgot there's no fucking audio mixing in old GBA games. They didn't think about me when they made them. The streamers. <laughs> but yeah, this is a this is a spooky little Pokemon game. Uh, personally, like I said, one of my favorite ROM hacks and. Yeah, it's Pokemon Snakewood, and it's a Pokemon universe, but set in a post-apocalyptic zombie hellscape. Yep, there's demons, there's monsters, there's general edginess, there's beheading, and new character sprites. Do you want to be this horrible JPEG, or this JPEG? So yeah, tell me which which what sprite you guys want what y'all want me to use. You want me to be this boy or this girl? <laughs> gamers are the most oppressed group, Sammy. I will have no disrespect towards gamers in my chat. Gamers rise up. <laughs> but yeah. I in this I like the sprite more so of the girl in this one, to be honest. There is the old man. 
It's Pokemon, Connor. These are children. That's what I'm saying, Hypno. Like, I'm partial to the girl. I, I really am. I feel... Like... This feels like the good choice. But I'm not 100% sure. But it feels right. Just realized something. I could I could edit the audio in the thing. He's dual wielding Pokemon! I know, right? So I don't think these sprites look bad. I think they look bad because we are seeing them like so big and blown up. I think on like a Game Boy or like a, a phone it looked fine. But yeah. Both these protagonists look super edgy, and I love it. But yeah, I, I'm thinking the girl. Nobody else has really voiced an opinion besides Hypno, and Sammy can't see it, so... We're gonna go with the girl. Hold on, I gotta move this up. There we go. Now I should be able to see chat better. Ah! There we go. I do agree, Connor. He is dual wielding Pokemon, but this girl is wearing a pink hoodie. Oh, wait. I forgot I can just use my <laughs> my controller as a mouse. At me, Nintendo. I'm using an emulator. Anyway. So, her name... The, the default names are Ghost, Haunt, Jericho, and Loba. On God, this game is edgy. In the best way possible. Ooh, really? Blue hair is always a, a blue hair is always a good thing. Out of all like the oh, what the fuck? That sprite does not look that Do you guys see the sprite? What the hell? Anyway, I'll go... I'm gonna go with Loba, because... Because Apex. I mean, that wasn't gonna be my reason, but fair enough. But no, look at the sprite. The overworld sprite looks completely different. But yeah, look at that zombie Bulbasaur. Like, isn't that sweet? Erg, I think I'm waking up. Suddenly, you are lasered by giant sharks with laser eyes. No, but seriously, you should probably leave. <laughs> also looks naked. Alright, so... It's quiet around here. Professor Birch's Pokemon Lab. Alright, so I guess... <laughs> yeah, now that I'm in the overworld, it looks much better. I agree. Let me just, real quick, I need to... I need to remap my controller a little bit. Uh, general... Damn it, that's not what I meant. Uh... Input, configure, up, down, left, right. On oh, God. There we go. Okay. All right. Now I can use the joystick. That's what I wanted to do. All right. So the so our choices. Oh, also this is a Nuzlocke, so I will be updating the overlay above me. Air of ill health about it. So this Pokemon... They're not telling you what the Pokemon are before you take them. So it says this Pokeball has an air of ill health about it. Alright. This Pokeball is gently spewing out exhaust fumes. Huh. I do remember this one as Claydol. The Pokeball is spinning slowly on its own axis. So, like I said, I know this top one up here is... That one is for sure Claydol. But I don't know these bottom two. So, I'm gonna I'm I'm ask Chad real quick.
Connor's already thrown in his towel, his vote for bad health. For the unhealthiness, if you will. So, he's voted for bad health. We got it. Bad health, exhaust fumes, or spinning on its axis. If I had to guess, maybe Grimer? Maybe? Because I can honestly, I'm pretty sure I could probably no-scope guess at them. Look at them again, okay. So this one has an air of ill health about it. Has an air of ill health. Don't know what that means, but it's spooky. This Pokeball is gently spewing out exhaust flames. I'm pre- Okay, if I had to guess, this one's probably a Nummel. Probably Nummel. This Pokeball is spinning slowly on its own axis. This one is Claydol. I know because it's the one I picked when I did play through this game in middle school. So, ill health, exhaust fumes, or spinning on its axis. <laughs> Maybe it's a bird with aviators. <laughs> there are fakemon in this game. You get, like, there are genuinely fakemon. There's zombie versions of a bunch of different Pokemon. And we'll run into them pretty early on. All the trainers are generally zombies. Alright. Ill health. Alright. Please be a Grimer. I... A Paris! It's a Paris! Alright, what do we... Oh, what, what do we name this Paris? What do we name it? Hmm. <laughs> huh. Ooh. I I I have a name. I was just gonna name him Gene. Jane. Jane the Paris. Yeah, you got a Paris. You're not a crook, are you? You're assuming a lot of me, game. Telling me not to steal? I'll fucking steal. I'm a thief. Anyway, let's check him out. So we got Jane the Paris. It's bug grass. It has effect spores, so if something hits it... It's definitely gonna do something. And he appears to be a decent attacker. Now I just have to go through and update this. Player's party, edit, Paris. And I don't think you can catch any of the zombie Pokemon, sadly. So, that's a bummer. Streamer admits to crimes he has committed. Sammy, you have no idea the things I would do for a Klondike bar. You have no idea. Anyway, so if the stream is work, Yes, there he is. There's Gene. Alright, the stream is working, boys. I'm stream- I'm- I'm gaming. But yeah, he's a cute boy. Well, I think only the trainers have the zombies. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what it is. Because I think, like, the trainers themselves are zombies as well. And so, by extension, their Pokemon get infected, I think is what it is. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? That's... that's wrong. <laughs> ah! Someone help me! See, look, a zombie. I wasn't lying about the zombies. No, for the love of God, don't leave me to this... this thing. Where are you going? Don't leave me like this. I wish you could just kill him. Alright, fair enough. Bruh. <laughs> Yo, this zombie's just Sammy. It says, bruh. But yeah, check it out! Zombie Kid Liam. And he sent out a Boilbasaur. 
Ooh, we're a bug type. Oh, but we don't have anything. We don't have any bug type moves. But yeah, so when I say you can't catch zombie po Pokemon, it's more because the trainers have them. If I had like a mod installed where I could catch trainers Pokemon and stuff, then I probably could. Ooh. Also, the difficulty spikes in this game are insane. Like, I remember getting so frustrated in middle school I cried playing this game. And then like, you have amnesia. It is part of the plot. We've known each other for years, what's wrong? Oh right, you see, I woke up in the, that ruined town south of here, and I realized I've lost my memory. So it's true, Little Root has been destroyed. That was our home, Loba. Don't know if you remember, was anyone there? Your older brother? My daughter? Nope, don't remember them though. Do you remember anything? No. You must have hit your head really hard. Don't you even remember the zombie plague? I think I would remember that. But no. But you were there as the zombies and their zombie Pokemon tore the town to shreds. Right? I like how Pokemon looks so weird in this font. But yeah. Zombie apocalypse. Pokemon centers are like one of the few places that are safe. Pokemon centers are great. You can use their services as much as you like and it's all for free. Yo, what's up, Glow? How's it hanging? Oh, by the way, me and Sammy watched the me and Sammy watched the uh, the organ opera. I can't remember what it it's called off the top of my head. It was cool. I was really digging it. I remember that girl, Candice. No, I'm pretty sure their name was uh, Ligma, Sammy. Pretty sure the name is Ligma. But yeah, like, they have these dudes sitting here like, we're the guards. Then if you go up here, I don't know if there's anything up here. Like, that works. Oh yeah, because this is where you can go online. Yeah. So it'll be like, hey, none of it works. But yeah. I think there's like events you can get up here though, like different boss fights and stuff. Pokemon Emerald was cool. Anyway, who's this dude? Be on Route 103 to the north. But see, they got like barricades in the town and stuff to like stop people from getting out and zombies from getting in. It's all pretty nifty. And this dude's like, I am one of the last remaining Pokemon employees. Here, take this potion. They've also reworked potions in this game too, I'm pretty sure. So if we look in our bag, we have something called a light potion. Yeah, I remember now, because of how the difficulty curve is in this game, they made different potion levels. I feel like I'm being watched. Zombie. There's a zombie over there, of course you are. Oh, there- Oh yeah, there's a vending machine in every Pokemart too. Rad. No, I remember, it was... On ice, Sammy? Anyway, I want to buy a shit ton of lemonade. Oh, zombie liver. What the fuck? I wanted water, not zombie livers. Did anyone else see that? Yeah, a can of zombie liver. What? So soda pop and lemonade are all the same thing, but fucking zombie liver is apparently what we use for water now. Imagine that, post-apocalyptic universe, you're just like... Zombie livers. <laughs> oh no, I wasn't like worrying about not remembering it. I was just saying it's actually just really good, like... Me and Sammy just watched it, we kicked it. Like I said, really good show. Every moment you spend outside is risky. Zombies tend to approach silently and with deadly consequences. I will say, I think... I think if it was longer... Yeah, Repo. Uh, like I said, I don't remember the the entire musical, but... it was It's the one where your name's from. Sammy, what was the name of the musical? Please, help me. I was drunk. I mean, not drunk. I think I was high. I was one of the two. 
<laughs> yes. I think you guys would like I'm Just Fucking With You. It is a good movie. Connor is recommending it highly. For re good reasons. Ah, Repo the Genetic Opera. I knew it was something like genetic. But yeah, me and Sammy watched it. Like I said, really good. Like, and I think, like I said, if it was longer, they would have been able to kind of flesh out the the meaty the meaty parts of the plot more. Yeah, I figured it was something to do with Zydrate after watching it because it's a glowing blue liquid, but I wasn't a hundred percent sure. <laughs> Grave Robber is an interesting character, though. It's one of those things where like. Grave Robber seems so significant to the plot, I just don't know how he is. Besides the fact that he gives Zy like he gets Zydrate, right? But maybe that's all he does, and maybe that it that would be significant to the plot, I guess, if he's the only supplier of Zydrate. Anyway, he's just telling about how like zombies have just killed the world. And he's also spying on Pokemon and stealing the eggs. I received an egg. I agree. I can I I agree. Grave Robber could get it. Low key though. Low key Repo Man though. I, I forget his real name, but like, the, the heroine's dad, she could also get, he could also get it, like, he's a, he's a dilf. Like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, Connor, we should actually watch it sometime, like, it's, it's, I, I like the story, I like the setting. Yeah, Nathan is a dill. But I like the story, I like the setting. But some of the singers could have been better. That's kind of how I feel about it. I think some of the music... The opera part that I was really wanting more of, I just didn't get enough of it. I didn't get enough of those operatic, like, like trillos and stuff. And that's what kind of brought it down for me. But, uh, like, the musical score by itself was fantastic. But then you'd have the sister from Spy Kids singing, and I'll be honest, she just wasn't, she just wasn't doing it. Okay, Blind Meg was cool as fuck, her voice was cool as fuck, and she was, she just refused to give up. Oh, the writers don't have the rights to it anymore? That's actually kind of a bummer. <laughs> Alright, this feels weird in a Pokemon game, right? You talk to an NPC, what do you want? Yeah, Blind Meg is a goddess. Was also one of the best singers in the entire thing. Like, honestly, the person who played Nathan was basically holding down most of the show. But then, uh, I don't remember who the, the big boss man was like the CEO dude. I don't remember his name either. I'm just really bad at names. Also in this game, they don't give you any free Pokeballs. You just have to buy them. So yep, Nuzlocke has officially started. We have Pokeballs game on. But yeah, between like, I would say the best singing came from the dude who owned the Devil's Carnival. Well, I'm gonna check him out. Like, I'm gonna 100% check out any of the movies you recommend at this point, because... The genetic op- like, Repo the Genetic Opera was cool as fuck. Like, I want to know how you get to a place to write that story. <laughs> Ooh, we got a- we got a Zigzagoon. What's wrong with Roddy? Listen, he was a simp to the grave, goddammit. A simp to the grave. A vengeful simp. But yeah, it's gonna be a movie I tell people to watch because... 
like I said, I think the musical score was was really good. The like accompanying tracks were amazing. Well, yeah, but I mean that's kind of that's kind of half the enjoyment of the musical. The the opera itself, it, it's just the whole premise is fucked up. So like everything, yeah, that's what it, like there's no heroes. That's what I love about it the most. There is no heroes in this fucking thing. Like, everybody is a bad person. To some extent. Like, whether you're poisoning your loved ones or... Literally tearing apart people in the streets to repossess their spine. And send it back to the fucking Walmart you bought it from. Like, it's just all wonderful. In such a macabre way. Ooh. I mean, if I watched it that young, I probably would. I, oh my god. Oh my golly. If I would, Huh. I wonder how that would have shaped me different. Pavi's character design was kit, was pretty bumping, Sammy. We both agreed on that. He's just a dude wearing other people's face. Exactly, right? His His... He was such a simple... He did something so simple to make the audience hate him. And that's what's so weird about it. Because it's just like, well, what does he do that's fucked up? Well, his brother is a murderer and his sister is addicted to surgery. But Pavi just wears other people's faces because they're pretty. <laughs> but he doesn't do it well. Oh, it's specifically women? I thought he just wore different people's faces for the hell of it. I didn't know it was specifically women. Alright, so like... Type disease? A Pokemon egg <laughs> obtained by amoral means. Damn. Okay, I didn't know that. That's cool. That adds even more depth to their character. Alright, so we got Zigzagoon with Tackle and Growl. Looks to be a speedy all-rounder, which is good. Our Paris is shaping up to be a, an attacker as well. That's good. Oh, what ability does Zips have? That's important. Does he have pickup? All right. So the fact that this Zigzagoon has pickup is ballin', because I'm just gonna get a bunch of random shit now, and that's awesome. I'm just gonna grind up a little bit. Yes, I do- I, I do remember him picking up his sister's face. That was... I don't know. I feel like it's fitting. Cause like, when they give you like the epilogue kind of deal, it's not like anyone's life gets better. It's just they all- they take over the company and do exactly what their father feared. Which is running into the fucking ground because they're all selfish assholes. But yeah. Well, I don't know. Would that actually be her face, though? Because she's gotten so many surgeries, like... I'm just saying. That's probably a face of a face of a face at this point. Yeah! Like, I'm not saying that I'm gonna... Like, sit there and be like, listen, the psychopathic murderer was morally just. Like, I'm not saying that. It's just an interesting character. What do you say? I don't know. He just caught my eye. I wasn't ready for someone else to be, like, having other people's faces poorly stapled to his. Oh, God. I, there, oh, God. Oh, God. Now you're questioning it. This person has a level 5 Sneasel? Oh shit. If they have an Ice type move, this is gonna hurt. Wait, that was Paris Hilton? Huh. I didn't know- I didn't know Amber- I didn't know that was Paris Hilton. That's wild. 
Sammy kept calling the the lead the lead heroine, if you will. Forget her name, but kept calling her kept calling her fucking Jamie. I think that's the girl's name from Spy Kids. He kept, she kept calling her that, and it kept bringing me out of the movie. Yeah, I didn't know that was Paris Hilton. That's cool. Oh, thank God. I thought I was gonna. I thought I was gonna wipe. Shiloh, thank you. Like I said, I'm bad with names, especially in movies. But yeah, Shiloh. God dang, I don't know. Just, just didn't do it. Like, I think they should have found someone else to play that role. I really do. It just, it just felt lacking, especially in the vocals. Can't Carmen, thank you, it was Carmen. She kept calling her Carmen from Spy- She'd be like, oh, Carmen. And I'd just be like, this isn't Spy Kids, Sammy, stop. See, I didn't get any of that. I didn't get any feeling that Shiloh and Grave Robber were, like, wanting to be together in any capacity. I really wasn't. But, you know, to each their own, I guess. Like, it just doesn't come off that way. It just comes off like, oh, you're in this situation, and they set up, they set Grave Robber up to seem like he has, like, a bigger hand to play, is what it feels like, and he just doesn't have a bigger hand to play, if that makes sense. And then when Shiloh's doing, like, is doing other things, it just, it's like I said, I just wish they had more time to tell the story so they could have more substance to the plot. Oh, we have we have a boy and a girl Zigzagoon. I'm gonna name this one Emmy. But yeah, all around, I think it's a good. I think it's a good film. I think it's a good film, but a bad opera. Because when I when I think of an opera, I really want like the vocals to make me feel something. I want to be getting goosebumps at least once a like once a performance i want to be getting that and never got that from any scene where shiloh sang just didn't also me and sammy lost our minds in that scene where nathan just decks shiloh we just weren't ready for that because we joke about that in a lot of movies but we just weren't ready for it yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, Mag was a good opera. The person who played Roddy did good. Hell, the person who played Nathan. Like. <sighs> yeah, that, that scene is, comes out of nowhere. But, like, the person who played Nathan killed it. In my opinion, with his vocals. Because the way he would switch between, like, his characters while singing was so cool. And I love that, especially when they're introducing him as the Repo Man. It's so fucking awesome. Because he keeps getting that gravelly tone to his voice. And then he comes out of it in the light way. But man, just... I don't know, everybody else I felt like did really good at singing besides... Shiloh! And I really wanted to like Shiloh as a character. It's a ghost girl, cool. But I just really... Uh, Polly Hag? It's Polly Wag, but... Dead. But yeah, I just really wanted to like Shiloh, and I just couldn't. And that sucked. Because it made me feel like I was missing out on the movie for not liking Shiloh. Not feeling, like, pity for her situation.
Yes. Thankless job gave me goosebumps. Like, that's what I'm saying though. All, not all the numbers gave me goosebumps and that's not what I want out of an opera. Hell, I think, I think in, for an opera to me, I think vocals, Rotmander, so it's probably a Charmander. I think vocals are way, way more important than the, than the acting a lot of the time. Because I think if, I think if you're going to do an opera, the emotion, the emoting and like that of the actor should really more so come from the singing and those set pieces that set up the operatic part of the, mu the, the music versus trying to get that emotion from borderline deadpan acting. Like I said, I just wasn't a fan of the performance of Shiloh. Just wasn't. It just took me out of the movie every time. But every other character was so cool. Oh, sweet. I got running shoes. I saved this kid from a zombie. I think I remember something. My brother, what's he saying? Loba, press the B button to use the running shoes. What a crappy flashback. I'm fucking schmoovin' now. I'm fucking schmoovin' now. God, this is what video games used to look like, guys. Let that sink in. This is what video games used to look like. But yeah, we're definitely gonna sit Dylan down and have him have him watch it. He's gonna really enjoy the repossession scenes. Cause Dylan's a Dylan loves gore, so he's gonna really vibe with those. I get that she's supposed to represent what little innocence is in the left in the world. I know that. But I still think it was awfully executed. Like she didn't feel I didn't I didn't feel her performance at all. It just felt so not meat. It just felt so... Untheatrical. If that makes sense. Because <laughs> like I said, I wanted operatic style acting, not so much... Spy Kids acting. And it just felt like Spy Kids acting to me, where it was like, yep. I'm saying my lines, I'm emoting, I'm doing great, and then you go to sing and you're nasally. <laughs> oh no, go go by your memory. I will say when something is something you, if something is if there's something you enjoy to the point where you just remember it fondly, you you don't have to ever justify that. Because rose-tinted glasses, they're yours to wear, and you're allowed to look at whatever the fuck you want with them. Because I do it all the time. Like this, right now, this Pokemon game, I think it's cool as fuck. Or I did. I think zombie Pokemon is a cool concept. This game... <laughs> was so much cooler back when I was a child. Sammy, Crash Box is weird, and I don't like it. Oh no, I like this game, I still do. The concept is just so unique to this game that I enjoy. The zombie's clearly eating, but you don't feel like seeing exactly what. <laughs> like, there's, there's charm to this game that isn't like, that most other games wouldn't have, obviously. But yeah, Sammy. No, Crash Box is objectively just really bad. You can fight me about this. Don't care. Hate Crash Box. It is literally ADD. It, 
crash box is what Adderall's supposed to make you feel. And I would know, I've taken Adderall. Loba found one broken heart. The fuck is a broken heart? One of the many that the plague has left in Hoenn. Wait, is this just an item? Huh. Then what do zombie livers do? Heal 50 points. Alright, fair enough. I should check on my Ziggies to see if they've picked up anything yet, because they have pickup. They have not. Meow. Look at this fucking guy. Fuck you, Sammy. Connor didn't like Crashbox either. It made him uncomfortable. <laughs> Literally nobody enjoyed Crashbox that night but you. And you enjoyed it in a scary <laughs> to an ex a scary extent. Sammy, the way you enjoyed Crashbox was scary to me. You were quoting it. Not just one episode. All the episodes, you could probably quote them. And that scares me. Because <laughs> it's not like it's a quotable, like, it's not like a movie or a sh like a show like Game of Thrones where it'd be something, like, memorably quotable. It's literally just weird mini-games for your mind. Oh god, a level 9? What the fuck? This is bad. This is bad. Yeah, exactly, like, Connor's brain just went, no. We don't want to remember this, so we won't. Anyway, this is really bad. Um, Like, really bad. Oh, no. Stun Spore and Hope. Let's get this pair of hacks. Baby. No, honestly, this is really bad. <laughs> Maybe I'll get lucky, you know, just get paralyzed and keep growling. Because one ember, I'm fucking gone. It won't kill me. Kill me, goddammit. Kill me. That was the ember right there. He got paralyzed. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, Dad. <laughs> How? Why isn't it killing me? Oh no. You guys enjoy whatever games and stuff you're doing. Seriously, why isn't it killing me? One ember finishes me. Well, God, you let me live. At what cost? At what cost, God? Oof. I, I seriously can't believe I just won that. What? But yeah, that's what I meant about the difficulty curve in this game, like... The thing I hate the most about Pokemon games is grinding. Mainly because I don't want to grind on camera. So... And it feels weird to be doing something... Like, for Twitch. Like a video series or something, and not play the game for that, like... Grind up levels on the side just feels weird. Also, I just don't like doing it in general. That's why I think the universal experience share is awesome. And I don't understand why people are complaining about it. Boil Basaur. See, I got level 5, and he has two mods. That means the next mod is even stronger. 
Oh god, I forgot. I forgot what that like the experience share. I don't want my starter just to become the only good Pokemon I have. I gotta remember to put other people in the front. Zips, you're dead, goddammit. Go away. Forgot to put you in a box. Alright, Emmy. See, like, levels... <laughs> my party's not this strong. Growl. No, I do like the custom sprite work, though. And from what I remember, it gets even cooler. Pokemon has never been about playing your way. It is one of the most linear RPGs ever created, Sammy. It has... You do realize Sword and Shield has less content in it than Super Mario 64, right? Or, like, Star Fox. Or... Pr prior Pokemon games, even. Pokemon has never been about player choice affecting the game. I th it's I think it's been about the opposite, to be honest. The only choice you're gonna make in a Pokemon game is a, is to pick your starter, and that's it. You can't even say no in a Pokemon game, Sammy. If you say no, that they just keep asking you. What is happening? Flesh, please. I didn't think, I didn't think in a town I'd be attacked by a zombie. Oh! It's a, it's like an ooze squirtle, that's cool. cool. It's called Oozle. Bubble? More like not doing shit. Anyway, I'm happy we started with the Paris. I like Paris a lot. I just got tackled. This is bullshit. Don't tackle me. Stop it. Stop it. Alright, I need to heal up a little bit. We're gonna drink this light potion. Hey -o. Tail whip. Dab the hair back and forth. But yeah, I think I think they're cool. Well then let your cat in, Sammy. If your cat's knocking on the door, you bring it in. Sammy, you're being mean to your cat right now. So, Sammy? Let them use you for your open window. You don't let them outside anyway. I've noticed that all the female zombies are ghosts. So far, and all the male zombies are boys. A medical kit? Oh, shit. Check Discord art. Alright, I'll do that. I will check Discord art. Oh no. My computer. It didn't like me opening Discord. <laughs> Computer, please. Please control yourself. Alright, let's see it. Oh, dang. So you posted the... You posted the, uh... Oh, it's a Pokemon OC. Cool. I like that recolor Clam Pearl. That's awesome. I like the Bell Sprout, but I love Bell Sprout. Yo, praise the Helix Gay Gang. That did that ditto though is kind of spooky. I like all. I like that Omanite though. That's cool.
And I see that Mackie has officially started a company on New World. That's cool. Yo, Loba. How do you know who I am? You look like your brother. I think that's an insult. It was inspired by my D&D? Really? How so? Oh god! I forgot about this! This dude is like, run away! And then he can just go back and he's just eaten alive. <laughs> no, yeah! I- I just- I like- I can't draw- I can't do art to save my life, right? Yeah, but I'm asking like, what- what the fuck happened to my sprite? What the fuck is happening? Cause water treasure? Are you saying because like water is hard to come by, so like it's treasured? I'm sorry if I'm not following. I promise I'm trying to, I just Swoon appears to have had her legs gnawed off, which accounts for why her corpse is still on this chair. Will you loot her corpse? Yes, I will. Oh, sweet, I got leftovers. That's awesome. I'm gonna equip that right now. But yeah, like, is it because, like, like I said, water's precious, or is there a different reason for it? Either way, I'm flattered because that... I'm... I don't know how to take that kind of thing. I'm low-key an emotional wreck. When it comes to, like, accepting, like... It just feels weird. To have someone be like, yo, you made me think of this. Also, I'm getting attacked by this dude because he wants my fucking supplies. Fuck you. The balls harden. The balls harden. Does Paris evolve with a leaf stone? I don't remember. If he does, we'll have to get a leaf stone. That'll be possibly difficult? I'm not sure. Never really sought one out in this game. Taylor. Damn. Taylor is big scary. I'm gonna switch back into Gene, hoping it doesn't go for a flying type move, but it probably will. Quick attack. Ah, oh, leftovers though. Yes, game changer. Ah oh, yes, stun spore. Beautiful. I'm really looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to getting sleep powder on this Paris. Sleep powder is busted. It and it's. I'll remember that. Huh. This Taylor has really bad- Oh no! No! Gene! Well, I'm down to one Pokemon already. That's the downside of a Paris. They don't, uh... They have a lot of weaknesses. And the weaknesses they have are all four times effective. Well, shit.
Well, shit. Damn it. Damn it. Well, that sucks. Well, I lost. <laughs> fucking, fucking peck. That's a bummer. Big sad. Well, it's I, it's too late for me to want to start over. So I'm just going to switch over to something else for a bit. Nope, not. There we go. That's the one I was looking for. Damn it. Sammy, why didn't... Why did you let me do that? Huh, Sammy? Why'd you let me do that? Why'd you let me wipe my party so quick? This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous, Sammy. This is redonkulous. Redonculata. Anyway, do I, do I have any just Steam games I could start up real quick? Because I don't want to get too committed to something now. Because I don't want to, like... Sammy, you should have stopped me from leaving a Paris out against a Talo. That was a bad idea, Sammy. Even though my Zigzagoon got one-shotted by the, the fucking... the fucking thing. Sammy, listen, I'm just saying, you're supposed to be my manager. And you didn't- you didn't tell me not to, Sammy. You were supposed to be my hero. Be be my 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 shield, my rock. And all you did was let me die. You let me die, Sammy. You let me die hard. <laughs> you can't see. Are you blind, Sammy? Do you need to go to the dot? <laughs> did your glasses break again, Sammy? What do you mean you can't see my stream, Connor? Exactly what it says. Yeah, I'm looking for a game, Connor. I'm, I'm trying to think of what to play. Oh, you stopped playing Pokemon? Yeah, I lost. I wiped. <laughs> Came all the way to my room to tell me, why aren't you streaming? What? What? Why did you turn off Pokemon? It's because I fucking lost, Connor. I figured you'd start to start again. I don't want to start with another. I want when I. I feel defeated. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got you. I, got I feel you. defeated and I'm embarrassed <laughs> because I just left a Parison against a flying type and thought it'd be <laughs> fine, and it wasn't fine. I saw Sammy fill in the chat and I was just like, oh, maybe he's just still like talking while playing. I was like, I'll go let him know thinking about it. <laughs> It'd be a quick game. Am I thinking about it? Yeah, that Is that one. something you're allowed to do on Twitch? I don't think it shows, like, actual booba. 
You know what I mean? Like, I think it's just lewd. Okay. And it's just anime. So, yeah, I'm, I'm downloading a game real quick to play in Spirit of the Holidays. It's spooky season. It'll, it'll only take a second, I promise. Uh, I'll switch scenes so Connor doesn't think my stream's broken again. There we go, see? Oh, man. Look at this handsome, handsome boy. Look how, look how adorable my face looks inside, over the sloth picture. Ooh. ba 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 bazinga Am I right? Bazinga. Are you being lewd, Sammy? So, I'm, I'm not gonna, unless you think Slenderman is lewd, then maybe, but... I'm going to play some Slendymans. The old one, not the new one. And it has potential to be lewd. It has the potential. Potentially it could be. Here, let me let me let me give you one of the reviews. <laughs> I thought this game was originally just some normal horror game about Slenderman, so I bought it. As soon as I launched the game, I realized my mistake because I exploded my boiling seed all over my monitor. Now, I was raised Christian and was taught to never release the impregnation pee before marriage. I have potentially wasted my entire life savings of load. And it is going to be a massive struggle to get it all back into my balls. Don't be like me. This game is not just any horror game. It puts the blank in horror, if you know what I'm saying. P.S. Don't let Pastor Dave found out about my sinful doings. He might do a cavity search if you do, guys. So that was it. That's one of the reviews of this game. Posted on August 10th. Uh, this one is a negative review because it says you can't fuck Slenderman. Best game ever made. Ah, here we go, here, here we go. A glorious game, super hot and sexy, would recommend. Impregnation P, exactly. Some of these reviews are... Not understanding what the game could have been. 2 out of 10, you can't give head to Slender, Slender, TBH, expected more but still good. He gets mad if you take his lolly collection, TBH, valid, TBH, TBH. Best horror game ever made, made a blonde girl scream her ass off, amazing. Maybe the worst game I've ever played. I don't think this is winnable, and there's no tutorial. That dude is just upset that he couldn't beat Slenderman. Like, the base game of Slenderman. But yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to see how lewd this game could potentially get. Cause like, I don't want it to get lewd to the point where I can't, like, show it on Twitch. Alright, let me see here. I'm not spoiling you guys, I'm just gonna look for myself. Alright, alright, that's tasteful and you can barely make it out, okay. That's also tasteful, Booba. Okay. No actual... No nudity. That's what I'm making sure of. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh yeah, if people can play Cuckold Simulator, I can play this. Yeah, no, there's no actual, like... There's no exposed tite or vagine or baba, so... Wait, are these just exposed bobas? No, it's not. Everything's tastefully wrapped up in clothing. Yeah, we should be good. 
The most, the most, the most dangerous one has to be this one. And you guys can't see it, but it, it looks, per, it looks kind of dangerous. But I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Anyway, who's ready to play Slender Hentai Edition? It's made with Unity. Always a good start. Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, keys. Oh shit! I gotta. I can't use my controller for this. Sheesh. All right, game. All right. I gotta play mouse and key. Oh god, I'm not ready for this. I don't think I actually know how to do this. I've never played mouse and key before. Hey guys, anyway guys, uh, welcome back to my Halloween game ad game edition. Uh, we're gonna play Slender Man. It's really scary. I'm really scared. Alright, so hold on. F is on and off lantern. G is pause. And E is take note. E, F, and G. Alright, I hope they give me button prompts in the game, because I'm gonna be honest, I'm really dumb. In the snow- okay, do we want- do we want it to be winter time, or do we want it to be spring time? Winter or spring time for Sexy Slender? Is it like a difficulty thing? Is that why? I wanna go in the snow. On gas. Shit, what were the controls again? Sammy, what did I say the controls were, goddammit? You gotta tell me. I don't remember, unironically. These noises are spooky, though. Oh god. Is that- is that slender? Is that really you? Don't look at him. Uh. So F is the flashlight. That G is pause and E is take a page. All right. I feel like there's a jump button. Ah! Spooky. Is there a run button? Shift is run. Okay, this is standard was to. Okay, yeah. Here's a page. How do I take it? Uh. I, I wasn't close enough. I got the hentai, boys. We're in. I got the hentai. I did it. There's a second hentai. I see it. Oh, God. Slender. Oh, God. Oh, God. Imagine playing this in the dark! Oh god! Wait, what the fuck? How'd I die? Slider didn't catch me! No, stop it! Slender. Yeah, your 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 bungus. You can't see me if we're in the both in the dark. Sprint to it. So anyway, I don't know why Slender has so much hentai just like stapled to trees. Like, like look at this one. Awawawa. Oh, there he is. Oh God, please, tall tentacle daddy, do not, do not put your pregnant pregnation pee on me. I'm gonna climb to the top of this rock and see if I can get help. Oh shit, I'm I'm parkouring. Slenderman can't get me up here. This is my new home. I'm gonna get to the top of this rock. Hell yeah, Unity. Unity's busted as fuck. Anyway, I just died somehow. Well, yeah. Uh, so...
Wow. That was the winter time. Really? Just, just... I just spawned and he was right on top of me. <laughs> That's not fair at all. What the fuck? See, <laughs> just like... Where is he? I'm just gonna run this way. I don't know where he is. I, I'm trying, Connor. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's, this game low-key ain't, ain't that spooky. But if I was a child, it would be. Anyway, I'm finding that hentai. Slendy. Oh shit, did I make it to the edge of the map? I must have. Don't let me go any further, yeah. I'm gonna turn off my- okay. Hold on a second. The game looks booty. <laughs> Connor, that's because it was made when we were in middle school. <laughs> oh god. There it is. Mm. Slenderman, I'm gonna steal all your hentai and there's nothing you can do about it. Slenderman? Or should I say, stupid boy? Haha, <laughs> get, get cut. Fuck is he? Right. I picked up more hentai. I'm getting too powerful. Slenderman knows where I am. He knows where I sleep. I remember when Morgan said this was one of the scariest games he ever played. I'm getting away from you, Slender. But yeah, I remember what my or my one friend Morgan. He was adamant that this was the scariest game he ever played, because he played it in the dark, in a closet. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one. If he appears in front of me, this is bullshit and the game is rigged. God damn! God damn! Hot tamales! God damn! Oh god, oh god, I got caught in this tree. This is unfair. Slender Man. Oh god, I'm speed running this game. Oh, you can't stop me, Slender Man. Flick strafes. I played TF2. Stop it! He's getting on my ass! Slenderman, please, I don't even have a light. Slenderman, chill! Bro, chill! Bro, chill! God damn it! This game eventually just becomes unfair! Ah, oh, god, trees! Oh god, now nah, flick! God damn! That one was a thicky. Oh no! Oh god! No, I'm caught in a tree! Shit! 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 Oh god, now he's over there! Where? Why is he everywhere? Stop it! Oh god, no! No, please! Stop! Why is he everywhere? <laughs> this game is pissing me off! I'm not scared, I'm frustrated. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> He's just no clipping everywhere. Slender- No! Ah! Damn it! This isn't even scary! It's frustrating! <laughs> what the fuck? Is this seriously how the original Slenderman game was? Cause if so, this is bullshit. Booba. God. Stop. I don't even have my flashlight on. What is the flashlight? Does the flashlight attract Slenderman? Because at this point, I don't think it does. I think he just knows where I am. Because he's God in these hair woods. Anyway, I'm about to beat this first try. No. Ah, I'm out of here. Slenderman. 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 Slend. God. Slenderman. Slenderman. No, Slenderman. God damn it, Slenderman, Slenderman. This is, this is actually getting fucking annoying. This game isn't. <laughs> Where's? Th it's over there. I see the last page. Uh, 
I'm just gonna. I'm sprinting. Oh god, the Slenderman speed run. You saw it here first, folks. Sprint. It's it's there. I see it. Oh yes. Nope. Nope. Ah. I'm a professional Slenderman. Sl Hentai's edition speed runner. Ah. Oh god, he's right there! Slenderman, no! Slenderman, get away from me! I see this page, god damn it! You won't stop me! No! I... This is the last booba. Where's the exit? I didn't know this would be part of the thing! Where's the exit? <laughs> Where's the exit, though? Where is it? Is it the house? Where's the e Do I follow the road? Where the fuck is the exit? I thought I beat the game! Ah, la, la, la. God damn it! Slenderman, I don't know where I'm going! Get out of the way! Mr. Slenderman. Good luck, there is no out. Connor, please. You can't do that to me. I'm a speedrunner. I'll find a way to no-clip out of this map. I, I am running to the... You won't let me leave! I found the hills! Alright, fair enough. I'll take this path. <laughs> Slenderman, please. Slenderman. Anyway, though, seriously, is this like the, real, the original game? Because I never really played it, so... I wouldn't know if it's like the original games or not. I know the flashlight has served literally no purpose this entire game, so I'm going to turn it on. Is it attractive? If so, to what extent? Oh god, my camera's... No! I'm almost out of time! Shit! Jump! Speedrun strats! Ah. B-hop! B-hop! No, Slenderman, no! You can't tentacle hentai me, you son of a bitch! This is probably the exit. Oh god, I'm caught on some fucking shitty Unity trees. No, not a JPEG of a tree. Is this the exit? Damn it! This is bullshit! I didn't... I, fuck, where the fuck was the exit? Where the fuck was the exit? Anyway, Connor... I just want to say, Connor. Just, just want to let you know, great game, <laughs> great game, ten out of ten. I'm gonna post a review right now. I am going to post a review for this this wonderful experience we just all shared. All right. Ugh. Oh, let me get those writing muscles ready. Let me get those typers. Let me get my typers ready. Hold on, chat. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Definitely worth a dollar. Like, hands down. That was actually really funny. It's just, like, it's not worth it. It really isn't. I low-key want to buy this this game that just came out called Inscription, but it also costs like 20 bucks. Anyway, who's ready to write a glowing review of this game? All right. Uh, okay, so as an avid slender man and nutting speedrunner, I can say. 
I can say with the oh my god I just oh, please please cooperate utmost certainty that this game is pretty good now the head bob physics are only so so but the way the light reflects off of the glistening bodies of these respectful respectful chat 2D women is superb all in all this game is somewhat challenging because you have to play it with one hand but it brought my nut PB down by point two seconds. This is better than my original nut time of five seconds. I am hoping that by training training with this game I can become I'm gonna spell it B and then naughty come get it I'm hoping that by trying training with this game I can become the world's fastest nutter Gotta capitalize the D in 2D. There we go. Highly recommend Slender Hentai Edition. Beautiful. Great game. 10 out of 10. Just amazing. Uh, well. Let me just, uh, let me just show you, uh, where, how do I check my reviews? Let's check recent reviews. Uh, let's see here. Ah, uh, it won't, it, it won't let me show my, it won't let me find my review. I was going to post it in chat. Ah, uh, here it is. View your review. 
All right, so let me read you my dissertation on the game I just speed run, speed ran Hypno. Yeah, uh, you, all you missed out on was me speed running a video game called. It, you you probably played Slender Man before, so uh, let me just. <laughs> I just had to write a review for it real quick though. So as an avid Slender Man and nutting speedrunner, I can say that with the utmost certainty, that this game is pretty good. Now the head bob physics are only so-so, but the way the light reflects off the glistening bodies of these respectful 2D women is superb. All in all, the game is somewhat challenging because you have to play it with one hand, but it brought my nut personal best down by two seconds. This is better than my original nut time of five seconds. I'm hoping that by training with this game, I can become the world's fastest nutter. Now, there's a few other reviews um, that I think also really encapsulate this game. Uh, let's see here. Where are you? Uh, not sorting by recent. Sort by summary. And positive. I thought this game was originally just some normal horror game about Slender Man, so I bought it. As soon as I launched the game, I realized my mistake, because I exploded my boiling seed all over my monitor. Now, I was raised Christian, and was taught never to release the impregnation pee before marriage. I have potentially wasted my entire life savings of load, and it is going to be a massive struggle to get it all back in my balls. Don't be like me. This game is not just any horror game. It puts the blank in horror, if you know what I'm saying. P.S. Don't let Pastor Dave find out about my sinful doings. He might do a cavity search if you do. Anyway. Yeah, honestly. Great game. Uh, Hentai, Slender Man Hentai Edition. Probably one of the best games ever created. Honestly. Uh, this person has also created games called Sculpture Hentai Edition, which looks at just Slender Man again. Uh, My Friend Stalin, apparently, which is some weird avatar you can have on your desktop. Hentai Craft, which is like Minecraft, but with hentai, apparently. So they've also created games called a game called Soviet Hentai. I, I don't understand it. Uh, Siren. Let's see here. Uh. Yeah, there's just a lot of... This guy just makes really weird hentai games, I guess. But yeah, all in all, we just played some Slender Hentai. Uh, highly recommend. Sammy, you should buy it. I'm just saying, like, you would really get enjoyment out of it. Uh, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Oh god. <laughs> I can't believe I just played Slenderman Hentai, Hentai Edition. God damn it. God damn it. That, that was something. Alright, well, thank you all for watching. Uh, it's been a fun time. I have work soon. <laughs> exactly, booba. That is the goal. Booba. But yes, thank you all for watching. I do have to go. I have work tomorrow, but I will be streaming longer tomorrow because I don't have work on Tuesday. And I'll also be streaming longer Tuesday because I'll be fully rested. So, without... Well, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say besides thank everyone for watching. And if you haven't, hit that follow button because, I don't know, it makes me feel good. Uh, yeah, it's... I don't know what else to say at this point, but yeah, hit that follow button. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed Slender Hentai Edition and me not fucking completely eating shit in my Pokemon Nuzlocke and dying again. Fuck. Anyway, like I said, I'll be on longer tomorrow. I'll catch you guys all then. Thank you for watching. And yeah, yeehaw.